Hi guys, it's Hannah. Thank you for tuning in to the Say That Again podcast. If you're on YouTube and you're new here, welcome. If you're on Apple Podcasts, I'm also new here, so hello. I wanted to quickly pop in and say thank you so much for taking a peek into this journey. I'm so excited to see where this road leads. Um, It is an intro episode, so it is a bit shorter than most of my episodes will be. Um, But I'm so ready to get down to business and let you hear this word. Before we get started, feel free to follow my Instagram at saythatagain.podcast where I will be posting updates, hints, and clips of all of my upcoming podcasts on there as much as possible. And if you are on YouTube and you go down to the box below, I will have links for everything as well as notes on today's podcast for you guys. I'm not going to lie, I'm just a teeny bit nervous because I am somewhat new to this. I'm a little bit of a newbie, but we all start somewhere, so thank you so much for taking time out of your day to listen, and I hope God blesses you as you hear this study. Hi guys, welcome to the Say That Again podcast. This is episode one, and today we're going to be talking about, drumroll please, meekness. So for those of you who have been following me on Instagram at saythatagain.podcast, I've been posting hints throughout the week to try to get you guys to figure out what I was going to be talking about this week. So some of you may have gotten it correct, and for those of you who did, you get a million fake Monopoly dollars, Um, but I may have not told you whether or not you got it correct just because I wanted to give everybody a chance. So we're going to be talking about meekness, and a lot of people associate the word meek with being a little soft or maybe even a little bit of a doormat when it's actually quite the opposite. Meekness is a controlled strength that comes from surrendering to God, and having meekness means wielding the strength to do so many things, but withholding yourself from doing those. It's kind of like self-control. So God gives us courage for a reason, but he gives us meekness kind of as a delivery tool to speak the truth in love. Kind of think of a car and meekness is the car and you're driving it and the truth is the passenger. So meekness comes from wisdom. So we're going to go to James 3.13 and it says, Who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. Wisdom and the Holy Spirit both give discernment in how to respond to certain situations. Meekness, in part, is the response. Think of the bus. Not only that, but meekness is powerful. Meekness requires wisdom, self-control, and humility. Our model is Jesus. The most powerful man sat down with the one who would betray him and washed his feet. Okay, I am living for all things floral this spring, and I don't even know why. One thing I've noticed lately that is coming back in style are these dainty little floral prints on dresses and blouses, and girl, I am obsessed! Luckily, Altered State has everything I need, as always, and always comes through with the cutest, most elegant pieces I have ever seen. You guys, if I could live in this brand, I would. And I do. (laughs) They have styles for every girl and every body type. I am not even kidding. They cater to sizes 0 to 24. Um, They even have a special line just for the mid and plus size range. So they really, really fit everybody and wants to make sure everyone is fitted well and just looks glamorous in everything that they wear. Um, So if you guys don't know Altered State, you definitely need to. Every Monday, they donate 10% of everything that they make uh, to local charities and to missions. They're called Mission Mondays, and they're all about supporting others. Y'all, this brand is just so amazing. I currently work for them, and you guys have no idea how much goes by on behind the scenes uh, regarding giving back to others and helping out in the community. It's just so amazing. 
y'all. They have my heart. So if you're interested in shopping with me, uh, you can go ahead and click the link down in the box below if you're on YouTube or if you're on Apple Podcasts, then you can go ahead and head on over to my Instagram. I'll have links for everything in my bio. Something happens when you take hold of the fruit of meekness, just like all the other fruits of the spirit. But what are some fruits of meekness? It helps you strengthen your self-control. Like I said, it's a function of meekness. It makes you slow to give and receive offense. This is very important because it keeps you reliable and it helps you to teach others and to keep you teachable. It's important to keep a teachable spirit. One of the greatest obstacles of humanity is the tradition of man. Mark 7, 13 ESV says, Thus making void the word of God by your tradition that you have handed down, and many such things that you do. Acts 18 verses 24 through 28 speaks of a man by the name of Apollo. It says, And a certain Jew named Apollo, born at Alexandria, an eloquent man, and mighty in the scriptures, came to Ephesus. This man was instructed in the way of the Lord, and being fervent in the spirit, he spake and taught diligently the things of the Lord, knowing only the baptism of John. And he began to speak boldly in the synagogue, whom when Aquila and Priscilla had heard, they took him unto them and expounded unto him the way of God more perfectly. And when he was disposed to pass into Achaia, the brethren wrote, exhorting the disciples to receive him, who when he was come, helped them much which had believed through grace. For he mightily convinced the Jews and that publicly, showing by the scriptures that Jesus was Christ. So, Apollo was well-versed in the scriptures. He had been teaching by the teachings of John the Baptist. But when Aquila and Priscilla came by, they were like, Hey, you are doing such a great job making disciples, but there's more to this. So they educated him, and he kept a teachable spirit. And due to his teachable spirit, he was able to teach others about Jesus more adequately and telling everyone that Jesus was God. Being teachable will set you up for success in the kingdom of God. Many people think that in order to be successful in the ministry sometimes or otherwise, you have to be a little more forceful. And standing up for your morals is great, but there's a beauty and peace when you speak the truth in love. Let's go to Ephesians 4.15. It says, But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. People have no power against such a person that speaks the truth in love. Meekness has so many functions. It holds hands with wisdom, self-control, and humility. Since meekness is so powerful, take hold of that strength and use it as a ministry tool. Use those functions and the fruits of meekness, as it is a fruit of the Spirit, take hold of all of those fruits and use it in your ministry and to grow with your relationship with God. And I'm going to give you guys some verses on meekness just so you can reference them. There's Titus 3.2, James 3.13, which I mentioned earlier, 1 Peter 3.15, Proverbs 16.32, and my very favorite, Proverbs 19.11. I'll read that for you guys real quick. Proverbs 19.11 says, The discretion of a man deferreth his anger, and it is his glory to pass over a transgression. And this is one of my favorite verses because I try my best to avoid conflict. I'm definitely a flight, not fight. Um, So this one is near and dear to my heart because it says that it is his glory to pass over a transgression. And one of my favorite functions of having meekness and practicing it is that whenever somebody tries to offend you, whether um, intentionally or unintentionally, meekness gives you the opportunity to take that strength that you have and say, I am not going to give this power. I'm going to take that power and use it for the glory of God. 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in this time. I will be posting next Saturday as well. We're going to have a very special guest that is very close to me. And I'm going to post a few hints about that on my Instagram. So be sure to follow me at saythatagain.podcast. I will be posting updates on there. And if you want to check the link in my bio down below, you can go straight there that way. And then I also have some information there as well. Be sure to subscribe if you are on Apple Podcasts. I post videos and podcasts every single Saturday. And be sure to subscribe on YouTube as well if you feel comfortable to do so. Thanks!